schools in Grenada to be closed for two weeks in the first instance from Monday. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Friday, March 13th, I am Rakesha St. Louis. All schools will be closed and visits to senior citizens' homes suspended as Grenada continues to monitor the spread of the coronavirus in neighboring islands. During an address to the nation on Friday, Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell announced the measures that Grenada will undertake to safeguard the population against COVID-19. As of Monday, March 16th, schools will be closed for two weeks. Teachers have been called on to work from home. His address was delivered just one day after meeting with key stakeholders at the Grenada Trade Center. All schools in Grenada, Caracu, and Petit Martinique will be closed for two weeks in the first instance as a necessary precaution against the contracting or spread of COVID-19. Furthermore, teachers have been asked to work from home from next Wednesday, March 18. Educators and administrators are asked to report to schools on Monday and Tuesday, March 16th and 17th, to prepare all relevant materials needed to work remotely. It is known that children and the elderly are the most at-risk groups. Therefore, visits to the senior citizens' homes will be suspended until further notice. It is paramount that we protect as much as possible all citizens, particularly our elderly, as they are the most susceptible to die in this outbreak. As we can all recall, the sad events in the nursing home in Washington when 29 elderly persons were the first recorded deaths in the United States. We are taking no chances and making no gambles on people's lives. In this regard, therefore, effective immediately all visits to elderly nursing homes will be suspended until further notice. Those who are receiving at-home care are to exercise extreme caution. We encourage the general population, especially the elderly, to continue to exercise an abundance of caution in every practice to protect yourselves and your families. According to Dr. Mitchell, social distancing is the new term in the fight against the virus. He says all social gatherings will be suspended. We are therefore requesting that all public and other social gatherings, such as cultural, religious and sporting events, cinemas and other places that people gather, that cannot guarantee a minimum of six feet of social distances, be further suspended until further notice. Dr. Mitchell gave the assurance that the Ministry of Health will continue to lead all efforts and will disseminate updates as necessary. The National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA, has already been activated in coordination with the Ministry of Health and the National Coordinator of COVID-19, Dr. George Mitchell. The government of Grenada will continue to monitor the developments related to the virus and will review decisions as more information and updates are made available. The Ministry of Health is stepping up its efforts for Spice Mask 2020 to penalize individuals who do not comply with the law with regards to food handling and preparation. Chief Environmental Health Officer Andre Warm stressed the importance of being certified to prepare and sell food during festive events. He said for years the ministry has been working with vendors to produce badges and certificates to give consumers the assurance that the food is being prepared in accordance with good hygienic practices. Persons in Grenada and the rest of the world can be assured that when they come to Grenada that they will be presented with safe food. 
And that will be a major, major concern, uh, has been a major concern for us at the Ministry of Health. And so we want to implore on all persons, all the partners, all the vendors, uh, particularly street food vendors, we want you to adhere to all the messaging directed from the Ministry of Health. We would also want to implore, again, all the food businesses or restaurants, ensure that all your food handlers are medically certified and also that there is the adoption of very good, safe, sanitary practices. He said the ministry will be working with the Royal Grenada Police Force to stop any vendor who is not certified or unauthorized to sell food during events. In addition to your medical certificate, we would seek to ensure that some me measure of a permit is being granted in the form of a food badge. And we will be enforcing that, as many of you would know, in a recent uh, event, for example, Karakou uh, Carnival, there would have been environmental health officers who were on the beat, on the streets, and they would be looking for persons who do not comply with the law. And we were going to ask the RGPF for support in having you discontinue your service. Mr. Warm explained that the division will stage its annual food handler certification workshop before the end of June 2020 so that persons desirous of selling can register with the Spice Mask Cooperation. I recognize from the SMC that they are going to be um, registering vendors starting June 16 to 19. So, and I understand um, having the requisite medical certificates and, and food handling certificate will be a prerequisite. So it means that we're going to possibly uh, accommodate this registration process. Generally, we have been doing that um, in the middle of July. So it means that we would have to reschedule and, and come up a little bit earlier. So we will try to facilitate this schedule. This is the National Report. We'll have more news after the break. Grenada's number one track and field event is back. The Inter-Secondary School Championships is back at the Karani James Athletic Stadium. You must be there. Experience the intense rivalry between athletes of our secondary schools on the track and in the field. Blame yourself if you miss the first ever Republic Bank-sponsored Intercall 2020. Blame yourself if you miss a day of exciting action on the track. Be there every day, day one, two, and three. The 53rd Intercall Championships takes place on March 31st, April 1st, and 2nd. Starting at 9 a.m. each day. Come, let's celebrate the inaugural Republic Bank Intercall. Come out families, come out past students, come out school-based supporters for the return of competition on the track and in the field because Intercall is back. Welcome back. McDonald College now has its own music studio, a project that will be taken to other parishes. $25,000 US dollars was allocated for construction of the studio. The project, which is implemented by the Ministry of Youth Division, Sports, Culture and the Arts, started in 2018. During Wednesday's opening ceremony, Parliamentary Representative for St. Patrick West, Honorable Anthony Boson, endorsed the project which is aimed at encouraging students' participation in music. As a parish, and I hope no one will contradict me here, we have produced more cultural icons on a per capita basis than any other parish in the trial and state. And therefore, for me, as a parliamentary representative for one half of the parish of St. Patrick, it is a signal honor to be associated with and to give my full endorsement of this very noble and worthwhile initiative. Melissa Borson further highlighted the importance of the new development. This is important for two main reasons I want to highlight. First, from a biblical and psychological perspective, it is said that music is the food of the soul. And therefore, if we are to produce good souls or good citizens, 
then our people, and primarily our young people, must be fed a diet of good music. Music influences behavior, especially the behavior of our youth. Positive music, or music with positive message, will definitely influence behavior in a positive direction. Minister for Youth Development, Culture and the Arts, Senator Norland Cox, is hopeful that the music studio will create avenues for youth. We recognize that there is immense opportunities in the area of the creative industry. Opportunities for persons to create a livelihood, new careers. Uh, we are not asking persons to shy away from the traditional areas, uh, like doctor, teachers, whatever the case may be. But we believe that there is significant value in the creative industry, and that persons can uh, make a livelihood. You can have a career as an engineer. And we have here two gentlemen who have a career as, as artists, as performing artists. So this can be done, and it can be done successfully. What we are doing as government is that we are facilitating, we are creating the environment for persons who have that desire to do so, to do so successfully. And hence the reason why we are doing this project and many other initiatives. Principal of the MacDonald College, Carl Andel, expresses his heartfelt appreciation to the government for their interest in not only the youth, but the parish of St. Patrick on a whole. I must give special thanks here this morning to thank the Ministry of Culture, Senator Cox, for having the vision, recognizing the fact that we are the mecca for, for culture and starting here. So I must give special thanks to Senator Cox and the Ministry of Culture. We also must give special thanks to Honorable Anthony Boson. This building here, I, I want to rename it and call it the Anthony Boson's Wing, because he was very instrumental in we receiving this building after we were on the pipeline for more than 20 years or more. So as I said, I'm excited. I know currently at school, there's a lot of boarding artists at school. We have some in here this morning who is already gracing the stage in Soka, Calypso, or such. Here is a highlight of a student's music rendition. Every time we touch on this stage, everybody knows. Come to mash up the place and shell it down with you. I want to take country and turn it down with you. Because we come to take the crown. Turn the rock. Turn the flag. Turn the rock. Turn the flag. Make your rock explode. Make your flag explode. Make your rock explode. That story just ended the national report for today, Friday, March 13th. Let's recap the top story. Schools in Grenada to be closed for two weeks in the first instance from Monday. On behalf of the entire news team here at the Government Information Service, I am Rikisha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.